and the first couple of group one, 27 and 23 years of age, respectively. Lorenza Alessandrini and Pierre Souquet. She is from Milan. He was born in Paris, and together they train in Lyon, not too far from Grenoble. This is their first Grand Prix event of this season. They finished just outside the top 10 at a few other smaller events earlier in the campaign. Yeah, this is a real learning experience for a new team. They only teamed up in 2014, so just so much experience helps. And, and you know, new teams know that. Both of them have formed partners. So they're looking to get their feet wet, get out there, get the crowd excited. It helps that they have the, the home crowd advantage a little bit. But we're going to be looking for some good, exciting things from these guys. And a lot of times the Latin music can help with that. of Latin music, it is the required rhythm for all of the teams here in the short dance. Music will be between two minutes and 40 seconds and three minutes. elements, a lift, non-touching step sequence, a pattern dance type step sequence, which we see here, a set of twizzles, and a pattern of the rumba. So it's going to be important for all the teams to really focus on the cleanliness of their turns, their edges, while maintaining the attitude of Latin dance. some control on that twizzle sequence. Oh, not a not a bad way to start the competition. Good good skate from these guys. Lorenzo Alessandri and Pierre Souquet of France. Last year, just inside the top 10 at this event, finishing in ninth. So Alessandrini and Souquet getting us started in group one, and we'll check out their scores when we bring it back to Grenoble. Here are the replays for Lorenza and Pierre. Thought they generally had good excitement. They really went for the Latin flavoring, but you can see just as a, as a younger team, and as you mentioned, Steve, one of the teams that's not going to be aiming for the podium in this competition, they, they still have some work to do, cleaning up their transitions, extending their legs, working together as a team to bring more ease through the program. So you can see they're doing, they're doing fun and exciting things, but you can tell when they're working. Sort of an interruption into your uh, ability to enjoy the program itself when you're you're constantly noticing that the, the timing between the partners isn't quite perfect but but like i said at the top that's something that you gain through experience is the ability to work through that i i really appreciated this lift just the incredible 
stretch from her in that split position and the strength from him being able to balance on one foot, spinning in place. Here's the twizzle sequence. You can see his free leg very nearly touching the ice on that second twizzle. They weren't quite in unison on the third twizzle, so that will be reflected in the grade of execution score for that technical element from the judges. And that ranges from minus three to plus three based on how well they perform that element as well as the difficulty in and out of it, the speed, the unison. So there's a lot that goes into the score that we're about to see. Now the first of just about a dozen couples all together. And Alessandrini and Suke. 54.07 to get us underway. First Grand Prix event of the season for these two after some smaller events earlier in the campaign.